Welcome to Create and Play, Holtrock Theatre's homeschooling drama lessons for children aged four to seven. My name is Finn. For this session, you're gonna need some coloring in pencils or crayons, some paper, yourself, and some space around you. Did you know that every time a story gets told, it changes a little bit? Well, this is our version of the gingerbread man. You can join in, if you like, by acting out along with me or making some of the sound effects. And if there are any other homeschoolers with you, you might like to get them involved too. Are you ready? Great, let's do this. There was once a little old woman and a little old man and they lived together in a little old house in the woods. They longed to have a child of their own, but after many long years, they had none. So one day, the little old woman said to the little old man, I'm going to make a gingerbread man and we can love and care for him like our own. And so together they got all the baking ingredients and put them into a bowl. They got the flour and the bicarbonate of soda and the ginger and the cinnamon and the egg and the butter and the sugar and the golden syrup and popped it into their mixing bowls. I want you to grab a pretend mixing bowl and let's mix the ingredients together. You can do the sound effects and copy me. All right, let's go. Right, everybody, grab your pretend mixing bowl. I'll just get mine. <coughs> Pretty heavy, that one. Okay, first they poured in the flour. You can copy me if you like. Grab the flour and let's pour it in. <gasps> Shake, 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 shake. Lovely. Then a little bit of bicarbonate of soda. <gasps> Dash. Perfect. Then some ginger. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Lovely. Some cinnamon. <laughs> Butter. <laughs> squid, squid, squid. Egg, crack, splat, lovely. Some sugar, let's pour the sugar in. Let's put loads in. Pour, and a little bit more, and a bit more. Pour, lovely, that's plenty, and finally, the golden syrup. Splodge. 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 Perfect. Now, let's mix it all together. Grab a wooden spoon, <coughs> put it in the bowl, and mix it together. Mix, 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 mix. Done. Whip. Then tip it out. <coughs> Don't need the bowl anymore. Mm. Let's knead the dough. <laughs> Grab the dough with both hands, squish it together, roll it backwards and push it away from you. Squish, pull, roll. Squish, pull, roll. Lovely. Now for the rolling pin. <laughs> Let's roll it out. Roll, 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 roll. Lovely. Grab yourselves a gingerbread man shaped gingerbread cutter and gently push down into the dough. Ah, lovely. Let's take the gingerbread man cutting onto a baking tray. There we go. Let's pop it in the oven. Great work, everybody. After a short while, the little old man said, can you hear something? And they were right. They could hear something, a small voice coming from the oven. They listened again, carefully. Let me out! A small voice cried from within the oven. 
the little old woman and the little old man went over to the oven and opened the oven door and out jumped the gingerbread man. The little old woman cried, Ah, oh, at last we have a child of our own. But the gingerbread man said, oh, Don't eat me. And then ran out of the kitchen door and out into the garden. Let's draw what the gingerbread man looks like. I'm going to give you five minutes. So grab your paper and your crayons and your colouring in pencils and let's draw. What does your gingerbread man look like? What colour are they? How big are they? They're really big quite small. You've got four minutes left. What colour are their eyes? What colour are their lips? Do they have three chocolate chip buttons? One, two, three. Is your gingerbread man saying anything? Three minutes left. What could they be saying? In our story, the gingerbread man cries, Don't eat me! Two minutes to go. Are you going to draw the oven? You could draw the little old man and the little old woman. What do they look like? What colour clothes do they have on? Are they happy to see the gingerbread man? One more minute.
get your drawings ready to show me. Are you ready? Show me your drawings. Stop! Wait! cried the little old woman as she made a grab for the gingerbread man. But with a hop and a skip and a jump, the gingerbread man ran off down the path. Stop! Wait! cried the little old man as he chased after the gingerbread man, but he wasn't as fast as he used to be. The gingerbread man turned round and with a silly face and a cheeky dance, he sang out, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Let's be the gingerbread man. Everyone up on your feet. I'm gonna do that bit of the story again but this time, I want you to be the gingerbread man, pulling your silly faces and doing your cheeky dances. All right? I'll give you one minute to have a little practice. What silly faces could you pull? Maybe something like that. How about a cheeky dance? What does your cheeky dance look like? Mine was like this. And a bit of that, maybe a bit of that. You can say the, the song as well. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Are you ready? Let's give it a go. Stop, wait, cried the little old man as he chased after the gingerbread man but he wasn't as fast as he used to be. But the gingerbread man turned round and with a silly face and a cheeky dance, he cried out, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. That was amazing, well done. So, the gingerbread man escaped off down the garden path, down the lane, with the little old woman and the little old man chasing far behind. Soon after, the gingerbread man ran up to a cat sitting in the sun on the wall. And the cat said, Meow, stop. You look tasty. Come here and let me eat you. But the gingerbread man carried on running past the cat and looked back over their shoulder and sang out, I ran from the little old woman and I ran from the little old man and I bet I can run away from you. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm a gingerbread man. And with that, he ran off down the lane, ducked into a hedge and into a field. In the field, there was a dog rounding up sheep. But when the dog saw the gingerbread man, the dog said, oh, you look tasty. Come here so I can eat you. And the gingerbread man carried on running through the field, turned over his shoulder and shouted back at the dog, I want you to do this bit with me. Do you remember the song and the cheeky, cheeky faces and the, and the silly dance? Let's do that. I'll repeat the story again and then you come in as the gingerbread man. Are you ready? Great, let's do it. In the field, rounding up sheep, was a dog. And when the dog saw the gingerbread man, he said, oh, you look tasty. Why don't you come here so I can eat you? But the gingerbread man carried on running and looked over his shoulder and shouted, I ran from the little old woman and I ran from the little old man and I ran from the cat and I bet I can run away from you. This is your bit. Let's join him. 
Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And with that, the gingerbread man dived into a bramble patch and through the other side with the little old woman and the little old man and the cat and the dog chasing after him. On the other side of the bramble patch, there was a meadow. And in this meadow, chewing on some fresh grass, was a big brown cow. And when the cow saw the gingerbread man running, the cow said, Moo! You look tasty! Come here so I can eat you! And you know how this bit goes. Join in when you're ready. But the gingerbread man carried on running, looked over their shoulder and shouted back at the cow. I ran away from the little old woman and I ran away from the little old man. And I ran away from the cat and I ran away from the dog. And I bet you can't catch me. Here we go. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And with that, the gingerbread man plunged into the wood with the little old woman and the little old man and the cat and the dog and the cow chasing after them. Soon, the gingerbread man came to a river, but there was no bridge. How was the gingerbread man going to get across without getting soggy? He sat down and thought about how he was going to get across. A little while later, a fox came along and sat down next to the gingerbread man. Watching the fast flowing river whoosh by. A little while later, the fox said, Something troubling you, my friend? And the gingerbread man replied, Well, I've ran from the little old woman and the little old man and the cat and the dog and the cow. I've run away from the cottage and down the lane and through the field, through the bramble patch, across the meadow, into the woods. And now I can't get across this river to be safe. The fox thought for a moment and with a wry smile the fox said, well, let me help you, my friend. I'll help you get across the river. Jump on to my tail. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's tail and into the water they sploshed. After a little while the gingerbread man noticed the water rising up, nearly touching his toes. The water's rising. What shall I do? The fox replied, Oh, you're heavier than I thought. Jump up onto my back. So the gingerbread man jumped up onto the fox's back. Again, the water began to rise, nearly touching the gingerbread man's toes again. The fox called back, jump up onto my shoulders. So the gingerbread man jumped up onto the fox's shoulders. Again, the water started to slosh about the gingerbread man's toes. And the fox called back, jump up onto my nose. And the gingerbread man not wanting to get wet or soggy, jumped up onto the fox's nose. And as soon as the two front paws of the fox touched the other side of the riverbank, the fox whipped his head back. The gingerbread man flew up into the air and with a snip of the fox's mouth, the gingerbread man cried out, Oh, that's a quarter of me gone. And with a snap, of the fox's mouth, the gingerbread man cried, oh, that's half of me gone. And with a snop of the fox's mouth, the gingerbread man cried, oh, that's three quarters of me gone. If this carries on any more. And then the gingerbread man said no more. The gingerbread man was all gone, eaten by the fox. 
There was nothing left of him, only a few crumbs and a smile on the fox's lips. That brings us to the end of our story. Perhaps after this, you could draw a picture of the fox. Or with other homeschoolers and your grown-ups, you could bake some gingerbread men. Have a great rest of your day. See you again. Bye.